So now the next question in histogram says draw the uh, histogram for represent the following data. And if you see over here, there's a little problem in the class interval. The class interval is from 40 to 44. And the next class interval starts from 45 to 49. And then, then the next starts from 50. So how is this going to be continuous? Because histogram can only be drawn for a continuous data, right? Because where we leave a histogram, we start the next right from there. So this cannot be made. So what do we do in this case? In this case, we find a thing called the adjustment factor. A thing called adjustment factor. Okay. So what is this adjustment factor? This adjustment factor is just take the first limit, just take the first class interval and take the upper limit. Just take the first class interval and okay, just do one thing. In this, what do we do is we take the lower limit from here and then the upper limit from here and then we divide it by 2. So this is 45 minus 44 by 2. Lower limit of the second class interval minus the upper limit of the first class interval and divided by 2. So this is equal to 1 by 2 which is equal to 0 0.5 okay the adjustment factor is 0 0.5 so what we do now is the add this adjustment factor in we subtract this adjustment factor from the first uh, from the lower limit of every interval and add it in the in the uh, subtracted from the lower limit of every interval and add it in the upper limit of every interval so this is adjusted class interval I'm just going to write the adjusted class intervals over here from the lower one we subtract and in the upper one we add so 40 becomes 39.5 and 44 becomes 44.5 same way subtract from the lower and add in the upper so subtracting from the lower 45 becomes 44.5 and 49 becomes 49.5 same way 50 becomes 49.5 and 54 becomes 54.5 and 55 becomes 54.5 and 59 becomes 59.5 and 15, 60 becomes 59.5 and 64 becomes 64.5. So if you look over here, we have 39.5 to 44.5 and then 44.5 to 49.5, 49.5 and now the data is continuous. So what do we do? We find the adjustment factor. What is the adjustment factor? It is the lower limit of the second interval minus the upper limit of the first interval divided by 2. I have not written it, just remember it, I am speaking it. For the lower limit of the second interval minus the upper limit of the first interval divided by 2. That is the adjustment factor. Then what do we do with it? We subtract the adjustment factor from the lower limit and add it to the upper limit in all the class intervals. And that will make the data uh, continuous. Now we have a continuous data, right? Now we have to represent this on this graph. So first of all, we know that the data, now forget about this, the upper one, forget about this. We just have frequency and the adjusted one. So now what do we do? Is Now we know that the interval starts from 39.5. And it is uh, the, the interval size is or uh, is 5, right? So rather than just starting from 0, what do I do is I make this graph connected graph by this sign that I just told you about in the previous video. And what do I do is this is y axis, x axis, don't forget there are marks for this too. And over here I write, I mark it as 39.5. This is 44.5, okay? And this is 49.5, right? And then we have 54.5. Then we have 59.5. 59.5, 64.5, okay? So we have all these limits. And over here, if you see, we have to go from 2 to 10, 
So I just look at the frequencies and I decide what do I have to put over here. So I just say that take one block equal to two units. So I'll just two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So what do you guys remember is that we have to make this equal to this. So if this is two, this should also be two, right? That is the rule. So this is what it comes out like. This is the graph we've just made. This is the uh, outline of the graph. So from here, now we mark the frequencies easy enough. 39 to 44.5 is two, okay? So this is 39 to 44.5 is two, okay? What is the next one? The next one is 44.5 to 49.5 is eight. So 44.5 to 49.5 is eight. Right, so we just draw eight. Done, right? And now from 49.5 to 54.5 is six. So we just draw it till six. Again, this graph, these are just, I am I'm again telling you, just marks for free. If this question comes in the examination, it's all marks for free. So from 54.5 to 59.5, it's again four. So we have to draw this graph on four, right? And the next is 59.5 to 64.5 is 10. 59 from 55 to 64.5 is 10. So what I do is I just take this up till 10 first. Okay. Take this up to 10 and then join this. So this is the histogram that we need for this example. And that is it. Again, guys, I'm telling you these questions are very easy and very easy. And you just have to score in this in the examination. Do not make any silly mistakes while doing this. Do not do it in a hurry. Do it very carefully and simply.